Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to get jobs and how to get started as a freelance creative and start making money. It doesn't matter if you're a filmmaker, a content creator, a designer, a photographer, video editor, all the things that we're gonna talk about today will apply to you. Here at Artlist, a lot of us started as freelance creatives, so we know how it is when you need to start something from scratch and trying to get jobs and make money. So all the tips that we're gonna talk about today are from our personal experience. So first of all, you need a portfolio to showcase your work and the level of your skills. So any potential client can see that work and understand if you're the right person for that job. If you currently don't have anything that you can show off, try to look for free projects or maybe small businesses that need a video for a small amount of money or just create your own passion project that you're proud of and you can put in your portfolio that can show off your skills. Now that you have a portfolio, you need to present it in a professional way. And the best way, in our opinion, to do that is create your own website. There's a lot of easy and accessible tools out there that can help you do that. And once you find that specific tool, go ahead and start creating your portfolio. You need to have an about page explaining about yourself, about your experience, about your style, what you like to do and how you like to do it and you need another page presenting your work in a nice and tidy way, maybe separated into different categories if you're doing a bunch of stuff, and another page with your contact details so any potential clients can know how to contact you. You could also open different social accounts. Just make sure you have a clear bio and you know what you wanna post on there. It can be anything from your creative process or showing different aspects of your skills. Just make sure you separate your business and personal account. The next point, which is probably the most important one, is collaboration and networking. And I can't stress enough on how many times I got jobs just from collaborating and uh, networking with other creatives. Reach out and engage with as many creatives as you can. Maybe send them a DM offering your help on their next project or just meet up for a coffee. These connections and relationships will be key in getting your next job. These people are always receiving job opportunities and they can either bring you on board for a specific project or they can just pass on a client to you if they're not available to do the work themselves. Also, make sure you're super proactive. You can reach out to brands you want to work with, small businesses in your area, local artists, send out emails, DMs, make phone calls, or even go door to door. Just don't sit around and wait for work to come to you. Another important thing you should do is always share your work. Make sure people know what you do and what you're all about. In these times, sharing your work and potentially reaching thousands of people is easier than ever. The next person to see your work on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or LinkedIn could be your next client or another important connection. You never know. When you're starting out, try to take as many jobs as you can. That will first of all help you pay the bills, but more important, it will help you gain experience. That will help you understand the type of work you really like doing, what you're good at, and which area of work has the most potential of creating revenue for you. Once you get to that point where you have consistent job offers, you can start being selective and focus on specific niches like wedding videos, commercials, uh, documentaries, or whatever you wanna focus on. But until you get to that point, try to get as much work under your belt. Even working as a PA can help you out. Developing a wide range of skill sets could be super beneficial, especially at the beginning. A lot of small businesses with limited budgets will often look for that specific person who can do it all, like filming, directing, color grading, editing, basically a one-man band. The more skills you have, the better the chance you're gonna nail that next job. But after a while, try to focus on a specific skill and develop that, and that will probably help you close higher paying jobs with that specific skill. You're probably going to get two types of job offers. One are from clients and the others are from production companies and ad agencies. When working with ad agencies and production companies, you're probably going to get more consistent work if they like working with you and you might get a higher chance to work with bigger brands. You'll also be able to focus only on the creative process, but take into consideration that they will have the final word over your work. On the other hand, when working with a client, 
you're going to have to deal with a lot of the administration side, phone calls, emails, but you're going to have full control over your project. So make sure you send your portfolio to different ad agencies and production companies. They're always looking for new talented creators to work with. So that's about it. These are the best tips based on our personal experience on how to get you started as a freelance creative and start making that money. We hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to slap it, slap that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on to never miss another video like this. Now let's talk about that giveaway. Three lucky winners will win three Artless t-shirts. All you need to do is comment down below what was the most useful tip you got from this video. If you guys have any more useful tips, make sure to share it down below with everyone watching this video. Here is the winner from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you, my friend. Until the next time, stay creative.